hello everyone in this video we are talking about noun and pronoun so all about noun and pronoun so the introduction is today we are going to learn about the functional part of noun and pronoun that means that we always talk about the structural part the what is this uh, noun or what is a pronoun and what are its, its types and so, so many other things but in real life or in exams they do not ask this type kind of questions they ask questions like how and why uh, and sometimes we have to identify for this for this reason we have to know the functional part of noun and pronoun so let's know and i'm showing you the slides that what we are going to learn today first we'll have a brief introduction about noun then types of noun very easy very easy and then we'll have the main part the functions of noun we'll know the functions of noun then noun functioning as subject and then noun functioning as object these two slides are very very, very important so i am requesting all of you to stay till the end you'll get very very benefited because in exams especially competitive exams this kind of questions are coming and sometimes you are not able to identify that why it is subject why it is object how it is so so here you will get all the answers and at the end you will get some important points to know so if you stay till the end then you'll get very benefited so first we are going to discuss about what is a noun a noun is a word that names something that is already we know a noun is a naming word yes or no so please do subscribe our channel and do like and if you have any questions regarding our session please do comment so a noun is a naming word which names such a person place thing or idea yes or no it names a person place thing or idea that's very very simple that is what we all we are learning from childhood so types of noun there are many types of noun common proper concrete collective and abstract we are not going deeper into these things because these are the functional uh, sorry the structural parts that we have already learned from childhood from school from everywhere everyone is teaching these things person noun nouns that are people are boy girl teacher doctor okay give me an example in the comment box from the person's point of view that person person nouns give me some examples so place nouns that are places are school home store park can you think of more next one thing nouns that are things are chair pen ball cloths there are so many uh, so many nouns which are used to talk about things now we are going to the most important session or most important section of this class that is functions of noun in a sentence nouns can nouns can play the role of subject direct object indirect object subject complement object complement a positive or modifier so this part is going to be very very important to know that nouns has so many roles so what are the roles sometimes they are subject sometimes they are object in in object also they may be direct or indirect then complement or modifier so let's know the nouns functioning as subject maria played the piece beautifully gita plays violin shina played football so i have ten, taken only three examples you can take as much as you want but if you see everywhere that in this three examples maria gita shina are always placed in the beginning of the sentences and if you ask the verb who who played who plays who played then you will get the answer that maria who played maria who plays gita who played football shina so the the here you can easily see that the nouns are working as the subject of the sentences now going to the next part now noun functioning as object that part was very very simple the noun functioning as subject now we get a very sim simple idea and we get we can easily identify but sometimes here also problem comes when zirand zirand comes as the subject so here the problem comes or sometimes infinitive which is placed as a subject or object here sometimes we get problems but still if you have any question regarding our session please do comment in the comment box so noun functioning as object direct object she bought a car indirect object he, he gave his friend a gift so let's understand what is the difference between direct and indirect object she bought a car so you have to ask the verb she is the subject what is the verb so you ask the verb bought what did she buy what did she buy a car so if you ask the verb with a with what then the answer will be direct object the next one he gave his friend a gift so ask the verb here the verb is gave and subject is he which is a pronoun so ask the verb what did he gave 
Uh, if you ask with deed, then you have to place the base form. What did he give? So a gift. A gift will be the answer. This is the direct object. Whom did he give? So whom did he give? His friend. The friend will be the indirect object part. So here the direct object and indirect part object both are present. Now next one is object of a preposition. The cat jumped on the table. The cat is the subject part. Jumped is the verbal part and on the table on is a preposition and the table table is the preposition of object preposition sorry table is the object of the preposition on object of an infinitive she wants to eat pizza so she is the pronoun which is which is acting as a subject here once is the verb and two is the two and to eat two plus base form of verb is the infinitive and pizza is the noun which is acting like the object of this infinitive so nouns can be also the objects of infinitives next one is object of ziran they enjoy playing soccer so they is the pronoun and enjoy enjoy is the verb now if you see the playing playing is not the direct verb play is the ziran so ziran after ziran there is a noun soccer so soccer is the object of the ziran so here we can see that nouns are working like subjects nouns are also working like the objects direct object indirect object object of a preposition object of an infinitive object of a zirand important points to know i think if you are still here so you have subscribed our channel you have also liked and commented now this part is very very special and this points will be always helpful to you noun pronoun and verbs can be singular or plural now we know that there are eight part of speech and out of eight part of speech only noun pronoun and verbs can be singular or plural among different forms of noun common and collective can be singular or plural we know there are different types of noun like common noun proper noun material noun abstract noun and another one is there na? another one is there material noun abstract noun collective noun so among these five types only common and collective can be singular or plural okay understood if you have still any, any confusion you can let me know in the comment box and last point is noun zirand and infinitive can be only subject and object in a sentence there only noun zirand and infinitive can be of subject and object and at last i'll be thankful to all of you for enjoying this class and being here till now and i hope you have enjoyed and if you have any confusion and we i'm giving these slides in the groups and the links are in the description box please let me know if you want these slides i'll give there and join our groups i hope you have enjoyed you have learned a lot and thank you so much see you in the next video